What is the best calculator to use on the ACT? I get that question all the time. And what I tell my students is, the best calculator to use on a high stakes test is the calculator that you know how to operate. All calculators function differently and they have a lot of hidden things in them that can really help you out. So what I'm really gonna answer here is what's the best calculator to learn how to use for the ACT because nothing is automatic. So the three that I picked to share, the TI-30XA Pro retails for about $11 and this is a fantastic little calculator. I used it for years and years and years. The next one on my list is the TI-36X Pro. It retails for about $21. The TI-84 Plus CE it retails for about 120 to 150 so that's a much higher price point. Now, my pick of the three is the, T, the middle of the road, the TI-36X Pro. And let me tell you just a few things about it that made it my pick. The 30XA was my pick for a long, long time, but times have changed. The ACT spends a lot of money developing their tests. And there's a list of approved calculators. This one is on it. So using the calculator is not cheating. You need to be able to use it efficiently, though. You need to know everything about the calculator because when the ACT approves a calculator, or the SAT, or whichever test you're trying to take, when they approve a calculator, they know what the calculator will do. And they spend a lot of time and a lot of money developing tests that still dig into whether you know how to work the problem or not. The purpose behind a calculator is not to help you solve some random problem that you have no clue about. The purpose of a calculator is speed and efficiency so that you're not making careless mistakes with multiplication, addition, subtraction. That's the purpose of the calculator. Now, there are menus built into the inside of the thing. Everything is not just what you see on the keyboard. This calculator has a capability called math print. And let me come around and get close up and I'm gonna show you what I mean about this calculator. First, I'm gonna take the TI-84 Plus out of the contention because even though this is a fabulous calculator, it takes a lot of time to learn how to use it correctly. And the main thing is a lot of the stuff that's on the ACT that you need a calculator for this one takes a lot of extra keystrokes to get to those functions than either one of these do. So this is really not, I mean, if you want, you know, if you plan on doing something that's a heavy math career, you might want to go ahead and get this one and dig into it. I have one student that has a calculator similar to this one and she can make it sing, but she has spent two years working with that calculator every day. So it's very time consumptive just to figure out what all is in here. Now, of these two, one of the first things is a lot of the answers on the ACT, they want the exact answer. And this is what I mean by that. If I take this calculator and I want to find the square root of 32. So if I push 32 square root, I get this 5.656. All right, that is not an exact answer. That's the decimal approximation. Whereas, since this calculator has something called math print, I can get a square root. I can push 32, enter. Now, it gives me four square root of two. I don't know if you can see that there. That's the exact answer, and that's the kind of answer a lot of times the questions on the ACT won't. These numbers are actually the same. One is just the decimal approximation. But if all of my multiple choice answers look like this, this number is not going to help me very much. Now, if I need the decimal approximation, I can hit the approximate button, and then I get the 5.656, just like on this one. So, this one has math print. That's a big bonus. This one does not. Another thing, or another of the few things this one will do, it will solve equations right there. 
you can push in your equation. 2x plus 3, scroll over, 10. And it will give you the answer, 3 and a half, right there. Solve the equation. It will also solve not just linear equations. It will solve quadratic equations right there. Not just uh, a squared plus bx plus c, but it will go up to something that has a cube term. It will also solve systems of equations where you have two equations at one time. And that's just the beginning. There's a dedicated button for uh, permutations and combinations, factorials. Another thing that this one does I really love, and it's hidden. This is one of those things where you have to know the calculator. It will do logs that have a different base. On this calculator, if you want to do a log of anything other than base 10, you still have to do the change of base formula. So. That's another time-consuming thing. Like I said, the primary goal of these calculators is to save you time and make you more efficient. So if it doesn't do that, then it, it's, you're not using the tool to its best ability. Now, I'm going to drop a link, probably floating somewhere around here, to my playlist on this calculator. So if you want to get one of these to work on for your AC, to boost your ACT score, that link will be there to my other channel where I'll show you a lot of the things that are hidden inside this calculator. So I hope that answered some questions for you. I know a lot of people have other calculators that they are just as fond of, and that's great. You use the calculator that you are the most comfortable with, but please, don't run out and buy one of these the night before the test and think that, you know, it's going to solve all your problems for you because it will not. Get one about a month ahead of time and use it every day, and I promise that will help pull you up a few points.